Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you see this video anywhere on the internet, you can always find it. You can always find me at therealpitbull.com, chicolopez.com. As you know, I've been breeding dogs for nearly 30 years and my motto is to have the best dogs in the best hands of the best people around the world. So we're gonna make this video today to illustrate and I'm gonna be dropping some more gems uh, in regards of these beautiful, amazing dogs. And I made a, a quote the other day that was birth of my thoughts. And it goes something like this. And it says, if you give a monkey a racehorse, the monkey will bring you coconuts. And basically it refers to how important is the dog's genetics and how important is the person that actually owns the dog. Uh, as you know, I, I own some of the best dogs in the history by a single man. I, I have the biggest collection that a single man ever had and created on his own. But I'm not gonna talk about that today. I'm gonna talk about dog behavior and I'm gonna talk about on the topic of, um, you know, the way dogs behave themselves and it's called epigenetics, okay? I'm gonna talk a little bit here. I'm gonna look for my material so I can show it to you today. I'm gonna start with these that you can find on the internet. And I'm gonna, excuse me if I don't, if I don't read it uh, with, with the accent that you like, but I'm gonna do my best if I can with this, okay? I want to teach you guys that dogs can actually change. The genetics that I make are perfect, they're beautiful. We get these results all the time. Uh, people really love our dogs and, you know, but if these dogs fall in the hands of the wrong people, obviously the dogs uh, might change and my dogs might not change. Um, I, we, we want to talk a little bit about the behavior of a dog that was uh, raped up in Yonkers, uh, New York. And if you start to teach a dog how to have uh, sex that is homosexual sex or a gay sex, I have nothing against homosexuals or gays, but if you, what they do it is humans having their own decision how they're gonna do that, but dogs don't have, they don't have gay sex, okay? Uh, the only way they can have that gay sex and maybe enjoy it is only if the per people that are around it, the, the environment around it creates that. And so the people that actually uh, promote these uh, erroneous and deviant and completely wrong uh, behavior in animals is actually abusive and is the dogs go through tremendous stress, tremendous uh, loss of a, a identity and a tremendous amount of stress. So I'm gonna read this here for you guys. I'm gonna do my best. It says the behavior of a dog cannot simply be explained by genetics. There is also an environment, an environmental component. Therefore, we suggest that dogs mirror the stress level of their owners or the behavior level of their owners. And the mediator between genes and the environmental is called epigenetics. And one epigenetic, epigenetic factor is DNA methyl, methylation. Uh, and he talks a little bit here about it and how dogs change their behavior and they become like the owner. And so, you know, I have to give justice to all the dogs that are abused by people. And, and this tells you, uh, there was a man one time that says that you can give uh, gunpowder to a, to a moron and the dog powder will become wet, will never light up. Well, this is the same thing. That's why some great dogs can fall in the hands of really, really bad people and the dogs turn out to be nothing. And it's not really the dog, it's the environment, the person, the human, the energy the person has, the way he behaves and everything. Obviously, um, a homosexual or gay intercourse in dogs is not natural. Dogs just don't run into each other and start having uh, gay sex. It's completely wrong. Uh, humans, if they, they make a decision to do that on their own, that's their call, and I'm not anyone to, to go against it. They got their, their, own, their own choices. But when it comes to dogs, I can guarantee you that a female, even, even if her hormones are completely ready for, for the male to, to copulate, uh, the females sometimes don't wanna have sex, okay? And it happens also to males. Sometimes males don't wanna have the females. And so this is a book that you can actually read and you can learn a little bit about dogs right here. Obviously material that's coming even more and more to my dogs. We keep learning more and we're gonna keep learning 
and uh, as, as far as the society and the new people that are coming into the breed, you need to make sure that you understand what's going on. You know, if you have criminals, the dogs act like criminals. And that's why you see that these dogs sometimes are these either rapists or, 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 or thugs or, or scumbags in the, in the low level neighborhoods. The dogs are really, really aggressive, even without training. And it's because of professional training to do any protection work. It's just the owners, the environment that they're raised on, you understand? And the dogs behave like that. Obviously, there's a genetic part. But when the genetic part never, before, never show anything, you know, the dogs are actually magnificent. The dogs are completely amazing. If that happens, then you understand that the only, only other solution that can be possibly explained is that this right here is what happens to dogs. So for those people that want to learn and want to know, you can take a dog like this, like awesome buck, for instance, and completely destroy it if it's in the hands of someone that has a deviant mind and wants to uh, himself have sex with his male or have other males having sex with the dog. And all the people, all the channels, which I will already record them and they already will have their own spotty history that make fun of that dog, whether the dog was mine or not mine, whether it was staged or not staged, uh, just to hurt Chico Lopez, which they don't hurt me at all actually, because the people that follow them is people that I don't engage with business. So I didn't lose any business whatsoever. If they, if that, those actions took people away from me, they actually saved my time from picking up their calls and denying them. These are really great dogs and they are for great people. Today, my mission is to have the very best humans on earth to own these beautiful dogs. At the same time, like uh, um, men like John Sullivan or uh, Jack Dempsey or Jack Johnson used to have these dogs in the past. They make beautiful pets. They are the best American people terriers. And you know, my motto is for you to give them lots of love, to care for them, and for you to know that you have the very best of the real American people terrier. This video here is actually not made for the bad people. This video here is made for the good people. So you guys that are new are coming into the breed, whenever you hear things and, 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 and statements uh, of ignorant people that don't know, you can look into this yourselves. You can come and say, well, I'm, I, wanna, I wanna know what this is. You know, I wanna know, I wanna know what this is, you know? And, and then you get to see that there is a behavior part that goes along to this, okay? Uh, some of this information came out of universities. Some of this information came from scientists. And obviously, uh, I said this from the very beginning. I said this from the very, very beginning. I said it. There's no way a dog can behave like that. My experience as a, as a real dogman, not as a pretender, said that this is impossible. And I know that there are a lot of people out there that contact me and said that's impossible. We know it's impossible. The people that did it are really terrible. Whichever dog might be, doesn't matter. It's just a terrible thing they did. And I really hope that the law gets hands on those people. And the people that were uh, promoting it and making videos and having fun with it, their faces are already taken. Those people that were making fun, they are no better than the guy that was uh, abusing the dog. And so for you guys that want to understand why dogs might do something or might not do something, you can't blame the dogs. You got to blame the owners. And the, the genetics might be fantastic. Yes, Golden Bane genetics, the best dogs in the world. But if you put this in the hands of a criminal, uh, of a person that has psychopathic behavior, someone that is uh, has some, uh, wow, I don't even know if that exists, you know, uh, criminal, gay behavior towards animals. I don't know how to put that together. And then and you guys that, you know, are gay and stuff like that, believe me, I have the most respect for your rights to, to do as you please as humans. But, you know, that doesn't, be, that doesn't mean that dogs uh, are looking to have that type of behavior. So I want to make, make that, that you guys do understand that very clear. So for you guys that have curiosity to learn about these, and here we go, we bring you the right information, you're learning. Uh, the facts and there's a difference between people that actually know things and people that don't know anything about dogs you know uh, smart people they do their research and they know and i i said it before you know the dog mirrors the owner if the owner is of that type of behavior and promotes the dog
to do that. If the guy is actually abusing the dog, he's probably having sex with the dog as far as we understand. You know, if those things are happening, uh, it's not the dog's fault. Whoever dogs might be, whatever breed might be from whatever. And if you see anyone doing that kind of thing, you must report it to the law because that is completely and 100% not acceptable by any real dogman, not by Maurice Carver, not by Er Tudor, not by uh, Ernest Hollingsworth, not by me, not by anybody. We don't promote and we, we don't accept this kind of uh, behavior. The people that are doing these things and laughing about the poor dog, those are not real dogmen. Those are real uh, low life and scumbags. So share this video with great people. And again, the video is for, for really great people that are coming into the breed and want to learn about dog behavior. There, there is something that has uh, a name that you can go and work with it. It's called epigenetics. And the epigenetics, uh, you have a, a DNA, uh, methyl, methylation factor, okay? And I, again, I apologize, my English is not perfect. My Spanish is not perfect, but we're doing an amazing job, and that's what matters. Results and merits. Merits over everything. Folks, let's have a great life. Let's have a beautiful life with those guys that are smart and want to enjoy the best dogs in the world and want to have the best dog experience, and you guys are actually fit to have a dog, and, you know, you have a family, and you want to enjoy the dog. Listen, nothing is better than a real elite-level global American people Terrier. Uh, the American Eagle is the bird of America. My dogs are the bird, are the dog of America. My dogs, my American people Terriers, the ones that I have, the purest of all, the best ones, the only ones that have the macho wanton winner blood, the best of the grand champion Mayday dogs ever. I will be dropping some amazing uh, gems in regards of genetics and studies. And when you look at the person who talks about genetics, you always got to look at the source. You always got to make sure that whoever is giving you the information, he has a backup that is based on genetics, like uh, uh, on qualities and merits. You look at this, for instance, you know, you do a little research on these people here, the universities and so on and so forth. And you compare these to the thugs that were laughing and, and making jokes of the poor dog. And I'm just letting you know that that's how you do research. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless the real American people terrier. Again, one more look at the page. The page is right here. Here's where you find the very best dogs in the world. They are pets. They are sold as pets and pets only. They are not even sold as, as, as sporting dogs, like to do anything that, you know, might be confused with anything else. The history of the dogs, this is just history. Uh, the genetics are here. The dogs are amazing with children, as you can see. The confirmation is we make the standard. We don't have a dog that fits the standard. We actually, we are the standard, all right? We'll talk about that too in the videos as me. I'm very young with Grand Champion made in my arms. Folks, I'm very excited, very happy about this video. I hope you enjoy it. God bless you. Leave your great comments at the bottom and let's continue supporting the best of the American People Terrier. I am a crusader. I am uh, a historian and I am a book writer and I am the main defender, the person who defends the real American People Terrier. I am a real dogman. I've been retired for many, many years. And today, my job is to connect the best people with the best dogs. My name is Chico Lopez. God bless you.